No, you got no breakdown. You can't play with that. You can't play with that. I'm gonna have to do this video later. Ah, ah, we gotta do this later. <laughs> so yeah. Ah, I can't. We can't do this. Can't. Focus. Hey, hey, guys. Okay. okay. Yeah, I think we can get through this. Okay, let's do this quickly. Hello, guys. So we're here today to talk about uh, long-distance relationships uh, overseas or any other country or any other country. We actually met online. It wasn't a dating website or nothing like that. The, the time that the Yahoo Messenger started. Yeah, it was when the Yahoo Messenger was up and running. You know those, um, when you ask for a camera, the camera will pop out from the other. Yeah, so if you had a camera, um, your name, there, there would be like a, there's like a it's TV like next to box. your name. So that lets the other person know that there's a camera so you can view each other. But I was in, um, I was in the hip hop chat room. People put their music there and stuff, their lyrics. And I was just there watching that. I wasn't really trying to find no one. I was just there. I used to DJ a lot. And I seen her, I seen his name in the room that looked kind of odd, so I clicked on it. So we asked to see each other's camera and I turned on my camera, she turned on hers. I went to the hip hop chat room. I thought that your name is like different from because this is my first time that I was in the computer. I didn't know how to make any of those Yahoo Messenger or Yahoo Mail. My sister did it for me. Actually, I'm from Davao. Yeah. And my so sister... My wife, for you guys that don't know, my wife is from the Philippines. From Originally from Davao City and then she transferred to Manila. Easier for us and cheaper for us to communicate is um, to go online and talk. Because phone is expensive. Yeah. So there's a lot of internet cafes over in the Philippines. And which is, that's the first cafe that I've been that's the like just a network. Cafe. Yeah. It's so hard before to find um, um, internet, even to try to put something in your house. And that was in, what year was it? That was 2005. 2005 yeah. yeah. To make this a little bit interesting, we're going to add something. Because I've been wanting to do this. Hold on just a second. Might as well do this while we're here. So we're gonna do this in between us talking mm -hmm. about relationships. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna taste test all these different baby foods and see what they taste like. I got you a spoon, I got me a spoon. Actually, I got you this spoon. I might as well use a baby spoon because you're my baby. <laughs> <laughs> So, Ew. This is your spoon. So we got these different kinds. We got some with meat in it, some with vegetables, some with fruit, and we're gonna taste them as we're talking. Now the phone you can use by communication and everything. And by the way, Yahoo Messenger is already gone. Let's hold that thought. This Ew. is classic beef broth. This needs to be stirred up. Uh yeah. You wanna go first or me? Ladies first. Ladies first. Ladies first. Yo. So. <laughs> okay. Okay. I don't like to taste that because I will throw out. When we met 2005, we'd been separated for a year, no? Mm -hmm. And then 2009, saw him with other girls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because we stopped talking for like, what, a year or something year or like so. that? Because I, I didn't never think that I would ever travel to the Philippines. When I seen her online, I was just, I was just blown away. I was just like, wow, you know? And I would go back every day and we would chat 
And that was, but then eventually I said, I will probably never make it to the Philippines. I've never been outside the country. And yeah. I was already in Manila. I was working there in Star City. Yeah, she had moved to Manila. And so we started chatting again and we stayed in contact for a long time. Yeah, right? the first September, September we talked and then you said you wanted to come over on my birthday for the yeah. first time that you traveled. Yeah, I made arrangements to travel there. I didn't know all the details that I had to go through to get there. Um, I thought it was just buy a ticket and go. I got my passport. I told her that I was going to come there. I was gonna fly there. So I made arrangements, bought the ticket, and I flew there. Okay, now your turn to taste. Hello, not that baby. Why, babe? Ew. Why, babe? Change other oil. No, 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 you have to taste what I taste. Hello, there's a lot. Yes, yeah, a lot, but you still have to taste what I taste. Oh, yo. I just give you a little bit. Little bit the John. <laughs> oh, no. Baby, I will throw up with that one. How about me, pa? Just a little. I give you a little bit. That's not little. Little is just like period. No. <laughs> you have to swallow. Oi. If you love me, you'll uh, swallow. I, I will. Yeah! Ew! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, babe! You love me, Ew! Babe. You love me, babe? Hello, no, Ate Anna. You have to measure my love because of if I taste or not. Ew! Like I said, I don't know how babies eat this stuff. It's <laughs> it It should be better that I didn't even see it. Open wide. Mm. <laughs> 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 what is it they have that food? <laughs> this is like spoiled food. <laughs> and think babies have to eat this stuff all the time. America is always making baby food like that. This is nasty. This should be like, it's like child abuse. When you're in a long distance relationship, it gets, sometimes it's, it's real difficult. Especially if the hours, morning here, it would be a nighttime in the Philippines. Yeah. So if like he's up and you're asleep. Yeah. So you should have to like balance if That's why my, my sleep pattern would be like, like almost the same here in the United States. I have to be up and talk to him and the hours I have to wake him up. Sometimes the internet is so slow yeah. and you really wanted to talk to him or sometimes you really wanted to to call. It's so hard. Yeah, the you Skype. Know, when Skype started, you know, we got the Skype and that made things a lot easier because we can actually see each other. Like and more Skype, often. Yeah, and Skype, you didn't have to pay to be on Skype for a long time. As long as you got internet, you turn it on, and and you know sometimes we leave it on. And I'm sure a lot of the people that do the same thing. Did the same thing. They leave the Skype on, and you know you go about your even day. Even your sleep. Even though you're asleep, the <laughs> Skype is the one watching you. She's watching you. You're watching him. Yeah. Your language. But yeah, it's like a language barrier sometimes. Yeah. It's um, like to try to explain stuff. Because our culture and, and, you know, the Western culture is different from the Asian culture. Yeah. So it's kind of hard to uh, explain yourself sometimes. Mm -hmm. So she may mean something, but when I receive it, it may mean something totally different to me. You know? Yeah. And we're more open to what we're going to say. Most Americans, they just say what they want to say, what's yeah. on their mind. But in the Philippines, they kind of hold it. You hold it and, and think before what we're gonna say, because we you might say you might feel something bad of what we say or something like that. Important is like communication. You have to say something, and you have to you have to be open in each other yeah. in what you want to. Yeah. So the communication is is very important. You have to be open with each other and understand each person's culture and how they are. And a lot of people think that. When foreigners come to the U.S., they think they can just buy a ticket and fly here, and they're here. But it's not like that at all. It's a lot of paperwork you have to do to get your spouse here from the Philippines. And for her to stay here, it's even more paperwork that you have to do. We got married in the Philippines. Yeah. That's a spouse visa. Yeah. After 45 days, my visa got approved. Yeah. Yeah, our process was a little bit faster. 
but now it's taking a little bit longer for people to receive the paperwork. And the hardest part, the hardest part was the wait time and you want yeah. your spouse to be with you. Yeah, it's so stressful. Then they kind of caused us to kind of argue a little bit. And sometimes, you know, we, we would get upset with each other about just like silly stuff. You know? And don't sleep while both of you are mad. If we both have an argument, try to make up before you go to sleep. Because you don't want to wake up, you go to work, and you're still upset, and you're thinking about a lot of stuff. Because that could affect your job while you're working. It, it just, mm -hmm. It's not good. My opinion, I think that when people are going to a long-distance relationship, I think the relationship become like stronger, a stronger mind. And it makes you work more towards a relationship to make it work. Yeah. You know, do your research about the, that country that you're going to and the culture. So when you bring your wife to the States or to whatever country, because I'm sure your spouse doesn't want to come here and eat burger and pizza and chicken every day. So, you know, look for international stores. Or Chinese restaurant. Chinese restaurant is like almost the same like mm -hmm. Filipino. Try to find restaurants and stuff that, that kind of goes with the culture. We didn't explain our whole life story, but we just talked about um, <coughs> some part of our life because it's hard but it's hard it's... but you have to work for it mm -hmm. not just for one person to work mm -hmm. for it both of you need to work for it yeah if you're new to our channel please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and a notification bell for you to have a no to notify for every um, <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> and toot the bell <laughs> <laughs> if you've seen this video and you're new to our channel, hit the subscribe button. And took the bell. <laughs> took the bell. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for watching. See y'all next time.